Oh, this isn't nice at all, is it? No. This is getting worse by the minute. If you're still here, can you show yourself? Can you do something for us? Throw something again. Um, <gasps> there any orbs? There you go. Whoa, <laughs> God, <I'm> Bennett. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Something else just landed down there again. Something did. Like, look at the dust coming up. Where? Something's My definitely landed. Anyway, and that is close to us. And the beauty of that is, is that we're all accounted for. I was right next to David. Oh, yeah. We so I can account for David. I can count, obviously, if you, if you two had thrown anything, it would have actually come through us. Yeah. As we come through that last area, I heard, OK, but it was on this was mental. I heard a little, I couldn't tell whether it was a little boy or a little girl. As we, we come under something, and I heard, Lord, the bridge is falling down. London Bridge is falling down, London Bridge is falling down. Look at the heads, look at the heads, look at the heads. And it was a little child. London Bridge is falling down. Falling down. Where, where's that play guy? It's there, isn't it? Behind me, behind me. We should ask out here. God, it stinks. Do something else for us. Other members, other people have been there shortly when we go. So are you going to do something for them? We hope so. Hopefully you might show yourself. Did you, hear, did you hear that? No. What was it, Carl? Leave? Yeah. Are there any astral beings here? If there are, please, can you give us a sign? If there are any children here, if there's a little... There it is again. Look. That was me. Watch. Watch okay. Ah. Oh. No, I... Do you know what I think that is? Is that that light? light with the material over the top of it. Very, yeah. very, yeah. very, very, very gently. Yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's where it would be, then. Oh, I just lost my balance. Are you all right? Did you? Dizzy. Are you OK? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? Mm -hmm. You're all right, John. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I, I thought it was going to fall over. Mm. Oh, how weird. If you'd like us to leave, do something for us now so that we know that you are definitely here and you'd definitely like us to go because we're going nowhere until you give us that sign. Come on, if that's you that made the, the noise in my ear, if it wasn't... I thought something white move across there. <laughs> where? <laughs> where? Right behind you, over there. <laughs> Oh. Right. I felt a shiver go right the way through me then. There's a white, something white moved across, just across where the rubbish is there. Jesus Christ. I'm getting an impression to my collarbone area. Yeah. As if my collarbone's being pressed back. That, I've never, that's weird. That is strange to me. Sounded like heels tapping on the floor, you mean? Yes. Yeah. One, two. That was just oh. like a white it was like a white shadow. It was incredible. Well should we should, should we go back? What was that? Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll believe him then. An hour into each vigil, we decide to take a brief pause in our investigation. But the early signs had proved promising most notably in an area that usually lies out of bounds to public use. Was this merely the movement of loose debris unwittingly disturbed by an ever-vigilant crew, or were these distinct and distant sounds the signs that someone didn't want us around? of walls and exhibits have made London's dungeon a far from comfortable setting for the most haunted crew. Surrounded by depictions of sickness and slaughter, we were just like thousands of tourists literally locked into our very own chamber of horrors, and the first few vigils have provided some initially interesting evidence. 
Ever eager to delve further into this massive maze, we launch a three-pronged investigative attack at the east end of the building, which had so far proved extremely active. Whilst Derek, Richard, Ian and Alex entered the Jack the Ripper area, Carl sentenced himself to a spell in the holding cells. Meanwhile, the morbid mortuary awaited our guest Fred Bat, myself and the rest of the crew. If there's anyone here now, could you please maybe move one of the objects in the room, touch one of us, show yourself. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to prove your existence. Make a noise. Just prodded me in the back there. Did they? Mm. Something just prodded me right in my lower back. You're right, Fred. Mm. Yeah. You're swaying. Swaying a bit. A bit. Huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. <gasps> what was that? Huh? Mm. Yeah. Fire. I'm sorry we got jumpy, but it was really good. Thank you for letting us know you're there. Can you do something like that again? This that's depicted like gallows. Yeah. Well, they're not real. Yeah. They're not real. Yeah. Because as I get however, on saying they're not real, um, I feel in this area there would have been people stronger. Right? It's like yeah. saying, you know, I, I, I don't know, I just get a feeling. Do you hear that? Hello? It's like saying, you know, I, I, I don't know, I just get a feeling. Do you hear that? Hello? And then, I, did you hear it like a woman's a girl's yes. voice? Yes. Yeah, I did. That. It sounded like a vet. I thought, I thought it was, but... Okay. Can we move into that area yeah. where the... You know, just to see whether you yeah. are trying to you know, become uh, a little while now of an energy at the back of us. Yeah, it's like it's, really it's, it's cold, waiting. Tiny. Yeah. Really? I feel a bit really uncomfortable, actually. Yeah, as if, um, you know, not so much ready to pounce, but, you know, just at the back there. Come forward, coward. What about you, Richard? Me? Oh, well, um, I'm glad I've got my back against the wall. Mm -hmm. that way. I, I tend to feel, you know, uh, again, that there seems to be almost something somewhere in the, in the dark, in the shadows. Um, it's not very cold. And um, I, I, I am quite uneasy to say the least. Dad was hanging out. It's just... Just a look of fear and terror. Come on at home, you tell me that you wouldn't be scared. Walking with all those people behind you. Especially when they're supposed to move. <laughs> it did just move then. <laughs> Thought somebody just touched my back. Is there anyone in his room with me? I should go back, shouldn't I? I've just heard a door opening and there's no door here. I thought there was a door and there's a corner. It was a big squeak. There's nothing there. There's no door there. Ladders, and I don't know where they're going to. I'll put the ladder. There's in front of me. Oh, I'm now judge. Judge and juror. Well, judge anyway. These are the jurors. Cozy lot they are too. I really don't like it. I've got shotgun and I don't like it at all. Uh, that way. Where's the best way to go? Are you going to be in front of you or wait behind you? 